Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killings, and yeah, man. All right, in this video, we're talking about the awesome freaking Red Dead Redemption Golden Revolver treasure hunt that is in GTA Online right now, okay? So log in the game, go pull out your uh, your phone in, in the actual game itself, go to your emails, top left corner, and you'll have a email from the Vanderlyn gang uh, that that will kick off your treasure hunt. That's how you do this. And it's super easy. It's super cool. I wish Rockstar would do more stuff like this. But yeah, so they send you a, a little message. It says, Two Tide Killington from the Vanderlyn uh, at ifind.com. Uh, and then it says, Use this photograph in the email to identify the location of the treasure. This is what starts it off. And listen, everyone's going to be a little bit different. There's like 20 different locations overall to find like the treasure, uh, the little clues and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but this is kind of like the base you know, idea of how to get this done. And this is my particular treasure hunt, so it's a little unique to me. But, um, you know, it, it shows you where everything's at on the map. I have a big yellow, you know, blip over here on my uh, radar at the map and just fly over here. And uh, if you want to check out Foxy Snaps, I also retweeted his tweet. He has uh, a video of all the locations and stuff like that, so check that out. But, you know, you'll see like a note. The, the very initial clue starts out with this note. And it's over here on the cemetery if you have this one. You just go up to the actual note, and it prompts you to hit the right arrow key on your D-pad, and that's going to kick it off to where you can start looking at, you know, the clues and stuff like that. So, I mean, this <laughs> this is dope. I love this kind of stuff. I actually kind of wish it was a little bit more difficult to find this stuff, just because it would kind of would have made it, you know, just a little bit more fun. This is treasure tour I found me a pot. It ain't here no more. I moved it. You fuckers, they'll never find it. Hell yeah. Long hair don't care. And uh, anyways, so that uh, that starts it off right there. Treasure hunt. Investigate all clues to find the treasure. And as you will notice on your radar, you know, a lot of people are freaking out like, oh my God, where do I have to go? On your radar, it will give you these little three little question marks, these yellow question marks. And it gives you a general location of where they're at. And once you get close to the actual clue, you'll hear like uh, like music playing or like a sound will start getting loud or whatever. And that'll kind of give you an idea of where it's at. So I went to the furthest one out over here, just kind of start to work my way back. And uh, so I'm at the location now. As you see, it's another, another little yellow blip on the radar. So it's going to be in this area, and this particular one is by the tree right here. It's this box. Just go up to it. it prompts you to hit the right arrow key. Uh, there was like a like a little noise that was being made that was getting louder and louder as I got close to it. And it's an empty case that looks like a carry gun. Go to the next location on the radar. It's over here by the uh, Alamo Sea and Sandy Shores. Uh, it's the radio is jamming out, and it's this shovel. It's like a bloody shovel, right? So I got that clue. I went over to my last location. This this is pretty cool. I think a lot of people are getting this particular one. It's in this cave right here. Uh, there's like a dead body. <laughs> it's so cool, man. His face has like been ripped off or something like that. He's in his undies. Uh, looks like Trevor was over here uh, having his way with him or something like that. Hit the right arrow key again. And then this will kick off where your actual golden gun uh, will be, the revolver. So it's three out of three clues discovered. And then bam, you get like a yellow treasure chest on your map. And just go right over there to it. Uh, it's really, this whole thing, this process took me like no time at all. Uh, the longest part of this whole entire thing is coming up here later on the video, and we'll talk about that. So you go to the treasure chest, looks like two guys had like a standoff and they killed each other or something like that. And they're about to dig a hole to bury it. Uh, and here it is, man. And then you just hit the right arrow key on there. It gives you a cool, sweet little animation. And, um, I mean, this is, this kind of stuff is, this is what we, you know, we need to have more of. I miss the crate drops and the money trucks that we used to have in G. That was so much fun. And bam, you get the, uh, Red Dead Redemption gun, treasure found. Uh, it's a double action revolver, and this gun is really cool. It has a super cool, oh my god, it has a really cool animation of when you put the gun away. When you, like, you know, say you have it out and you want to just put it up or whatever, uh, it's good to go. It, oh, it starts this little, uh, little challenge get 50 headshots with a double action revolver to unlock GTA money, reward, and exclusive variation in the Red Dead Redemption 2 game. It looks really good, it's got good detail on it, it looks sick. Um, so, and the 50 headshots can be with NPCs or against players. But look at that. As you put the weapon away, it like twirls it. It like just like an old school cowboy. I mean, that shit is dope. I love it. So you want to put it up right there. And just whoop. And it, I mean, come on, dude. Like that is sick. I love it. Just for that right there is worth doing. So one more time. <laughs> Give it to me one more time. It's just so cool. I love it. And then there you go. I mean, that's this just for that alone. It's, it's really good. So here we go. I'm getting my 50 headshots. Like I say, you can do it with NPCs. It works really good on cops. You know, just start shooting people and. You know, getting headshots. Uh, Nimrod's is like, shoot me, shoot me, Ty. <laughs> so this is kind of show you, it does work on both. I felt bad about that, killing my crew member. Um, and then once you get the actual 50th headshot, and it'll, it'll tell you, it'll track it for you. You know, you've got a little thing in the left-hand corner saying he's got like 10 left or whatever. 
double action headshot challenge complete. You got two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and you get a special uh, variant in Red Dead Redemption too. So that's a really cool way to Rockstar did this to tie the two games together. So. Hope you guys enjoy, man. Let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest reels content in the game. And make sure you smash, I mean, let's smash that like button. Stay dangerous, man. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.